everyone, and welcome to the July 6th Planning Commission meeting. Um, we, I hear that we have some of our planning commissioners waiting in the participants list, so I'll uh, wait until they get thrown into the, the panelists. Commissioner Ferguson, looks like we have him here. Maybe we'll wait for one more to have a quorum. Yeah, I'm checking um, the other commissioner that I expected uh, to be in the waiting room, I'm not seeing. So allow me a moment to uh, try to figure out what's going on. Christian, should I start with um, maybe the notes that I like typically read while you're while you look for the other commissioner? Uh, sure, that's fine. Thanks. Okay. All right. Well, I'll start with uh, just reading some some notes before we get into the uh, substantial portion of the agenda. Um, this meeting will be conducted pursuant to the provisions of the governor's executive order N-25-20 and N-39-20, which suspend certain requirements of the Brown Act and pursuant to the orders of the health officer of San Mateo County. And as this meeting is necessary so that the city can conduct necessary business, it is permitted under the orders as an essential governmental function. Commissioners, and city staff essential to this meeting will be video slash teleconferencing into the meeting, and there will be no physical location open to the public. The public can observe the meeting while sheltering at home via the Zoom link as the primary means of participation or via the cable channel 26 or live stream broadcasts as alter alternate methods of viewing the meeting. Participation via the Zoom link will enable the meeting to be observed live and will enable the public to speak during the public comment periods. The Zoom link was published in the meeting agenda. Live public comments are being accepted at this meeting in place of email public comments. Public comments may be provided live by members of the public using, utilizing the Zoom link to participate in the meeting. Utilize the raised hand function in the meeting application on a computer, smartphone, or tablet, or else enter star nine to raise your hand if dialing in by phone. Please ensure your name is correctly entered in the Zoom profile so city staff may properly identify you when it is your turn to speak. Those dialing in by phone will be called to speak by the last four digits of their phone number as shown in the Zoom interface. All right, and now I see we now have a quorum. Welcome, uh, Commissioner Godwin. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we'll open the session, and can I have a roll call, please? Thank you, Vice Chair Berman. Uh, Commissioner Berman. Present. Commissioner Kirk Ferguson. Present. Commissioner Godwin. Present. Commissioner Hauser. Present. And now we'll move on to the salute to the flag. Commissioner Hauser, do you mind leading us in the salute to the flag? Sorry, let me unmute myself. There you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America. America. And to the and Republic, Republic of the stands, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, divisible, divisible liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. 
Thank you, Commissioner Hauser. Um, now on to administrative business. Um, do we have an approval of the order of agenda? Would someone like to make a motion to approve the order of agenda? Commissioner Godwin. I move we approve the order of the agenda. Commissioner Hauser. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Uh, can we have a vote, please? Commissioner Berman. Yes. Commissioner Ferguson. Yes. Commissioner Godwin. Yes. Commissioner Hauser. Yes. That motion passes unanimously. Great. Now on to an important part of today's meeting, approval of the minutes, the June 7th, 2021 uh, meeting minutes. Uh, can I have a motion for approval or does anyone have any comments or questions? Commissioner Hauser. I will make a motion to approve the minutes of June 7th. Commissioner Ferguson. I will second Commissioner Hauser's motion. Motion and a second. Uh, Christian, can you help us with a vote, please? Commissioner Berman. Yes. Commissioner Ferguson. Yes. Commissioner Godwin. Yes. Commissioner Hauser. Yes. That motion passes unanimously. All right. Uh, designation of liaison to city council meeting. It looks like we have none. Is that still correct? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. Um, oral communications. This portion of the agenda is available to the public to address the planning commission on any issue within the subject matter jurisdiction of the commission that is not on the agenda. The timeline allowed for any speaker will be three minutes. Uh, Mr. Murdoch, do we have any hands raised for public or oral communications? There are no hands raised currently, Vice Chair Berman. All right, then I will close the oral communication section of the meeting. And uh, next up, consent items. It looks like there's none. Uh, new public hearings. So let's see, we have file number 2018-057 rezoning RZ. 201-18, development plan DP-79-18, specific plan SP-169-18, variance PV-526-18, and parking exception PE-191-21, filed by Matthew and Margaret Murphy for rezoning to the PD Plan Development Hillside Preservation District Zoning Districts, authorization for single family residential use and construction of a 2,538 square foot single family residence with a two car garage on a 24,149 square foot undeveloped parcel at the Eastern terminus of Talbot Avenue Assessive parcel number is 016-270-110 in Pacifica. A variance is required to exceed the allowable coverage within the Hillside Preservation District Zoning District. A parking exception is required to deviate from the guest parking requirement within the HPD Zoning District. Recommended CEQA action is uh, not applicable and recommended action is continue item to the planning commission meeting of July 19th, 2021 or August 2nd, 2021. Uh, Mr. Murdoch, do you mind elaborating? Thank you, Vice Chair Berman and good evening, honorable commissioners and deputy director of planning, Christian Murdoch. As the vice chair indicated, staff's recommendation is to continue the public hearing this evening. Uh, the recommendation is to continue to August 2nd, 2021. As of this evening, we are continuing to work through uh, a few items with the applicant's engineer. And so we would uh, request the uh, later of the two options in the agenda for continuing this public hearing to come back to the Planning Commission at a later date. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Murdoch. Um, does anyone on the commission have any questions? All right, then I will open it up to public comment. And as I understand it, we will open to public comment um, purely about the continuation of this item. Is that correct, Mr. Murdoch? That's correct, thank you. Okay, um, then I will open up the uh, public comment period. And do we have any hands raised? I do not see any hands raised. All right. Give maybe one or two more seconds. Okay, looks like no comments. Um, then I'll close the public comment period and bring it back to the commission to see if anyone wants to give a motion. It sounds like the August 2nd date is the preferred continuation date. Uh, Commissioner Hauser. Um, I'll make a motion to continue um, this item to the meeting of August 2nd, 2021. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Godwin. I second the motion. Motion and a second. Uh, can we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Berman. Yes. Commissioner Ferguson. Yes. Commissioner Godwin. Yes. Commissioner Hauser. Yes. That motion passes unanimously. Great. Um, moving along, uh, commission communications. Anyone on the commission have any item to discuss? Uh, Commissioner Hauser. Thank you. Um, I just had a question um, for Mr. Murdoch. I, um, we, we've been getting a lot of communications um, and questions sent to us about the Hillside Preservation District. And I wanted to understand um, if there was a process or a, like a, you know, a platform where um, maybe some explanation of that could take place at one of these meetings that, you know, could potentially benefit, you know, the public on understanding a little bit more since, again, we've been receiving so many questions. Uh, it's certainly something that we could explore, Commissioner Hauser. Um, I, I can't recall um, beyond a general overview of the um, the workings of the planning commission that we brought specific um, ordinances that were not up for amendment um, to the planning commission for a discussion. So um, thinking about the proper way to do that, if there is one, um, something that uh, I'll take back to our staff team and, and give some consideration. I understand and agree that the HPD ordinance has been the, the subject of a lot of community discussion recently. And so getting the facts out there would be um, a good thing, I think. And uh, in the uh, interim, before we may have an opportunity to have a discussion, uh, the ordinance itself is in the city's municipal code and the municipal code is available on the city's website. So I encourage folks to go to the website, find the municipal code and search for HPD or Hillside Preservation District and you can read it for yourself. Thank you, Mr. Murdoch. Um, I, I believe that's article 22.5 if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. That sounds right. And I want to make sure folks go to the right place. Okay. That's then, correct. It's article 22.5 of chapter four of title nine in the okay. municipal code. All right. Well, I, I really appreciate it, Mr. Murdoch. And I, I may ask again at the next meeting, um, just in follow up. And that's all I have. Great question, Commissioner Hauser. Are there any other uh, commission communications? All right, I'll move it on to staff communications. Uh, Christian, do you have any items you'd like to discuss? Thank you, Vice Chair. I just wanna remark that um, on June 28th, the city council adopted the fiscal year 2021 and 2022 operating budget for the city. Um, despite the last year being very challenging uh, fiscally for Pacifica and a number of communities in the state, um, the city manager's office and the rest of the city team, um, as well as the city council were able to put together a balanced budget and I think the good news uh, for the planning commission is that um, no significant changes in the planning department's operations uh, in terms of how we support and um, bring items to the planning commission for consideration. So I think that's very encouraging that we were able to get through a very difficult year fiscally um, 
and continue to provide a high level of services to the commission and to the community. Thank you. And, and really the past year and a half, I know how much city staff has, has had to do to keep projects going and keep the planning commission meetings going, city council meetings, everything, community outreach, um, and also getting the local coastal land use plan forward through um, the coastal commission, um, which I, I know we're still in the process of that, but thank you so much for your help, Mr. Murdoch and to the rest of staff too. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. You know, we work hard and it's been uh, more challenging than usual this last uh, 12 plus months. So thank you very much for the recognition. Definitely. Well, um, I guess nothing else to, to really cover. Uh, do we have a motion for adjournment? Commissioner Ferguson. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Commissioner Godwin. I will second it. Motion in a second. Can we have a vote, please? Commissioner Berman. Yes. Commissioner Ferguson. Yes. Commissioner Godwin. Yes. Commissioner Hauser. Yes. That motion passes unanimously. All right. We are adjourned. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye.